This vehicle has problems with the automatic transmission. The control unit of the electric hydraulic actuator is probably defective. Make sure of this with a look in the fault memory. As we thought, the control unit announces a fault with the RPM sensor. The control unit must be exchanged. Get into the repair through the fault message in the short test. Transfer the data of the control unit to star diagnosis before you remove the control unit. Then remove the component and open the part. First open the mountings of the valves and then take out the valves out one after the other. To keep them organized, lay the valves in their installation positions. Then undo the screw on the bottom left. Upon installation, replace this screw for a new one. Then undo the remaining screws in the control unit. Please do not clean the components. Only clean the magnet selector valve, but only with a cloth free of fluff. Important, you may only install the control unit from this kit. Check if the unit is available before you start your work, then the repair won't be interrupted. A new screw and an adapter sleeve are part of the set. When you install a new control unit, make sure not to touch the contact points on the board. Electrostatic discharges can lead to unseen damage in the control unit. First, insert the adapter sleeve and the new screw. Pay attention to the fastening nibs. Fix the control unit with the new screw. The valves are cleaned in a transmission fluid bath. Washing in transmission fluid is the best way to remove dirt. Afterwards, place the valves back in their positions. Fix the clips and fasten the remaining screws. Moisten the sealing rings in the EHS plug with transmission fluid. And also the B3 plain conduit. Fasten the B3 plain conduit directly to the transmission. You can see the position with this model. Now install the control unit. Use star diagnosis to check the data again. If the programming of the control unit doesn't work, then you can find helpful information in the program called Tips and Tricks for Exchanging the Fully Integrated Transmission Control Unit for the Automatic Transmission. By the way, the repair doesn't apply to the following electrohydraulic control units. You'll find more information in EPC and with the number on screen.